I think it's misleading to call it the talking treatment because people think <laughs> it's all to do with talk. Well, I think it's the listening treatment. Uh, in fact, I sometimes uh, say to people, um, what does a violinist use to play the violin with? And I'd want to differentiate, is it their hands? But if you, I say, no, it's their ear, you see, because it's a great pleasure, I say, to watch a violinist, and especially you can see it on television where, you know, it's in large, you know, in a concert hall, it's too far away. But if you watch, I know, I'm always interested in the way they bend their ear to the instrument. You know? And I often think that's, that's a very good model for psychoanalysis. We, we, we've got to listen, and if you listen, you, you won't do terrible damage. If you bother with the motor, with, you know, with your, what you say to the patient, some people say, what should I say? And I try and say, well, that's not so important as listening to the patient's reaction to what you say. And if you listen, then what the violinist does is he alters the intonation. He gets the, the pitch comp you know, absolutely right by listening. Really. And this is what we want to listen and get the pitch right. So we correct an interpretation. And if that wasn't in tune, that last one, you, and you've made me shift because you've showed me that. Um, so it's listening that's so important. Um, the sirens um, seduce you with their music and, and the danger is you leap into the sea and get trapped by them and, uh, and devoured by them. And, um, but Ulysses wanted to hear this music. He, he didn't want to... Uh, so he, what he did is he put wax in the ears of the row, rowers so they wouldn't stop rowing but he tied himself to the mast see, so that he couldn't jump overboard, but he needed to listen. And I think that's a good, I say to people, uh, tie yourself to the analytic chair see, and remember you're an analyst and you're not the patient you know, and you're not with the patient, you're trying to understand the patient. So you let the projections come in, but you say, no way am I leaping in to this. And I thought that, you can see, this again brings this, the importance of listening and the importance of limiting your actions and saying no to certain, both the patient and the analyst, I think, has to be able to do that.